Greetings from the team at SCBA to all our friends in our association. How are you doing? How has your week been? We are all living in such strange times at the moment and sometimes we can get anxious about what the future holds for us. Sometimes we may worry about whether our job is safe or when we will be able to meet properly with our families. But in our Bible reading, Jesus tells us, don't be anxious, don't be worried, fear not. So, from Luke chapter 12, verses 22 to 32. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens, they do not sow or reap, they have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life, since you cannot do this very little thing? Why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the wild flowers grow, they do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after all such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. So Jesus says we shouldn't be worried about our things. To not seek after more and more, like we are obsessed about it. Well... I think I can try that. After all, I have a roof over my head and food to eat and clothes to wear. But what if we didn't have these things? What if it all got taken away? How easy would it be to not be anxious, not be worried or not be at least a little bit afraid? Do you worry? Are you anxious? Are you constantly seeking after the things of this life in order to make yourself more secure? To make yourself happy. And if you can't get these things, not in the way that you would like, what happens to your peace of mind? How do we take to heart these words of Jesus and apply them to our lives? But wait, Jesus isn't talking about extravagance in this passage. He isn't talking about the basic necessities of life, food, clothing, shelter, not a £1,000 pair of shoes or dinner at the Savoy, just the ordinary, mundane, everyday needs of keeping body and soul together. But he says, do not seek after them like the people of this world do. We are called to be different, and it is not by an act of our own willpower, mustering up our resolve to keep a stiff upper lip and a stoic self-determination. This call to not worry, to not be anxious, is not based on anything in us. Instead, it's based on the Heavenly Father that we know and love. This is the basis of our faith and trust and confidence. This is how we overcome our fears and worries and anxieties. If you want to seek something, then seek God's kingdom. Seek his kingdom and all these things will be added unto you. In other words, there is something much more important for you to be sure you have than even food and clothing, and that is God's kingdom. God's kingdom of peace and joy and righteousness, which only comes to you through Jesus Christ. And this frees you. Your anxiety is relieved, your worry turns to prayer, 
your tears give way to faith, your trust in God and in his promises become greater than your seeking after possessions. Not only do you not have to worry about yourself, you are even freed up to help others. Once God has given you the kingdom, which is the greatest treasure of all, then you are able to help others. God will use us to be his instruments of mercy to others. Is there someone you know in need? Perhaps you could send someone a card to say that you have been praying for them. Give someone a bunch of flowers. Cook someone a shepherd's pie. Or simply phone them to say hi. The words of Jesus, the promises of God, these produce faith. The trust that is our whole being. It is a faith that is greater than our fears. A faith that frees us up to live as children of our Heavenly Father. A faith that then reflects his character of compassion and giving. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom.